Bannon is also facing separate legal problems in New York. Last month, prosecutors charged him with money laundering, conspiracy and scheming to defraud donors who wanted to build a wall along the U.S. border with Mexico. Bannon called those charges politically motivated. We are 13 days away from Election Day and voters nationwide are hearing from candidates trying to get your support. The results are in for Rhode Island's gubernatorial primary election. The Democratic nomination belongs to Dan McKee, but was not won without a fight. In the last couple of weeks, we saw the gloves come off as candidates sought to secure a nomination. Police say an assault occurred tonight at a park in North Attleboro where one was left injured during a fight. Now police are searching for two suspects. Police say those suspects allegedly showed a gun and fled after the assault. The Massachusetts State Police Air Wing assisted in the search for the suspects along with canines and officers on the ground. Police say there is no current threat to the public. Reporting from North Attleboro, I'm Jessica Costantino. Police say the 13-year-old was hit crossing Dyer Ave by a tire. Today, orange markers can still be seen where it all happened. The Hope Street bike lane has been cause for debate over the past couple of weeks. As you can see here behind me, people are voicing their opinions on the trial trail. Local business owner Asher Schofield, owner of Frog and Toad on Hope Street, was seen using the bike lane today, stopping to share his thoughts. Call myself open-minded about this project, where I just am curious to see uh, what the impact is on going to be on parking. Uh, it's always seemed like there's plenty of, of parking in the Hope Street area, just using side streets. That's where I park every day. He tells us he is open-minded to the idea of the bike lane, saying that business is going as usual, but understands concerns. Well, I think it's fair to look at an issue from all angles, and I certainly uh, share concerns with all business owners. They're valid, but I also want to have the view uh, on this project uh, of a cyclist, even though I'm not a very good one. An analysis says inflation is forcing consumers to spend hundreds of additional dollars each month. Those items included utilities, gas, groceries, medical care, and more. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Costantino. The First Lady will be landing at TF Green, then heading to Providence. She'll also be spending some time with local politicians. Former Trump aide Steve Bannon received his punishment today for failing to cooperate with Congressional Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol attack. 12 News reporter Skylar Henry has the latest from Capitol Hill. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie begins our coverage live from Warwick. An update now on the MBTA struggles on the orange line. Massachusetts senators are responding to a recent letter sent by the general manager of the MBTA. Law enforcement from across the country came out to pay their final respects to the two Bristol, Connecticut police officers who died in the line of duty last week. I'm Jessica Costantino.